G. What is G? So they're doing artificial gravity through rotation of the ship. Okay. And I was wondering, could we calculate the G from this rotation rate? I put a timer here. Okay. Yeah, we can try this. Okay. Let's give it a shot. So I think we do not see a full rotation. I don't. I think it cuts away before there's a full rotation. Maybe we can get a half rotation in here. Okay. okay. Let, let's let's choose a time that is easy. So I'm going to mm -hmm. choose when this this access tube is vertical. Okay. I'm going to write this down. So that's five seconds and thirty five milliseconds. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How and about then, when it goes? Yeah. Let it play until it gets to the top. Yeah. That'll be a half revolution. Half revolution. There. Yeah, okay, I like so that. That's ten, yeah, I like that. 10 seconds, 86 milliseconds. Yeah, so then the difference is... Let's five, say 5.5 five five. Sec five, 5. 5 seconds. Nice. So then yeah. the time for one revolution is now double that. So, so that's, that's 11. 11, 11 oh, seconds. That's nice. that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's actually really nice numbers. Okay. So that's capital T period. And mm -hmm. the acceleration... Mm -hmm. For circular motion is velocity the tangential velocity squared yeah. over r. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to get velocity out of this, so maybe we can rewrite that. Um, the tangential velocity for circular motion is r omega. Yeah, and so then omega to period is one over and two pi. Okay, so the angular frequency omega is. That's going to be 2 pi over the period, right? Okay. So, so, we get, so we just save it as 2 pi over t. 2 pi over t. Squared, squared up. Squared up because it's v squared. Mm -hmm. So then and v is equal to r omega. So we're looking at r squared omega squared over r. So now yep. we have r omega squared. Mm -hmm. And we've calculated omega, the mm -hmm. angular frequency. So that's, going to be two, only, two, that's going to be 2 pi over 11. Yeah, quantity, quantity squared. Quantity squared. Now we need and to then, figure out the radius, right? Right. So we just need to estimate this distance from the center mm -hmm. of the circle out to the habitable ring. Right. Okay. So uh, I guess we got rangers here. Well, yep. And so and a ranger. How tall is a ranger? Well, I think if we if we go back to the previous, and we look. I don't know. It looks like a person can sort of stand up in there with maybe a little bit of room to spare. Yeah, and I guess that's that's reasonable because you need space for people to stand, but you also don't want to have mm -hmm. like just cavernous waste of space. Right? So right. space spaceships are a little bit like a little bit cramped, right? Right. So uh, two meters, maybe. I mean, two, two meters. Meter, yeah. Two meters is six six, I think. Well, two meters is is six. It's like maybe six three, six four. Oh really? Something, it's not something okay. like that. Something so like then, that. so then that's, that's kind of reasonable. I don't know how tall right. these people are, but that's kind of reasonable, right? So if this is two meters, the people are sitting in there, yeah, about you know, yeah, and that's this picture. So let's assume that the thickness of the ranger is about two meters. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Oh, I um, guess I guess that's the internal cabin. We make it a little yeah. bit thicker. I don't know. Two meters is pretty close. Just two meters is pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Two point two point five at most. Yeah. So approximately how many twos can we stack up to to make the radius, do you think, here? So there's one ship and then another one, maybe yeah. to get to the center. I two, like that. Yeah. Three, three, four, four, five, six, maybe? Six. Okay, so that's six times two. That's twelve. It's twelve. Yeah. So, so 12. we're getting two pi over eleven seconds squared up. Times twelve. What is that? Can we bring up a calculator? Oh yeah, good point. I have a computer. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do. What did we say? Yeah. We had, it was twelve times. No, no, no. Let's do this a better way. Okay. We yeah. have eleven. No. It, it's oh, yeah. Two, pi. two. Let's do four pi squared, so we can do like four times three point one four times three point one four times, times three point one four. Yeah. So that's divided four by pi squared. Yeah. Divided, divided, by, divided 11. by eleven, and then divide by eleven again. Why do we and divide then, by eleven twice? Because it's uh, two pi over eleven squared. Whole thing. 
Because it's uh, I don't think it is. It's, it's omega squared r. Uh-huh. Oh, eleven with the seconds. Color. I see. I see. I see. Eleven is the seconds. That's right. And, and then, then the we... whole thing is times twelve. I see. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. Okay. So this is some low. <laughs> this is some low. Whoa. We're we're looking for nine point eight meters per second squared yeah. in order to get Earth G, mm-hmm. and we got about one one. Now we did make some approximations with the size. I think our rotation period that was, was, that was pr- good. That was really I think it was pretty solid. You're not. I don't think there's much error in that. But I think our, the error would be in our approximation of the radius. Right. But not not ten times wrong. That's right. Not ten times wrong. So, I think the the spin rate. What would they need? They they would need to spin a lot faster. Oh, yeah, a lot faster in order to get the correct g. They would need the, to spin the Earth faster. G. So they would need to reduce about three times period. faster because it's That's omega right. squared. Yeah. So you need you need it to be one rotation to be about three or four seconds. That's fucking fast. That'd be fast. That's fucking oh. fast. But I guess I guess once you're inside the space station, you don't feel it. I guess there's the, also the possibility during the design phase they could just make the radius of the thing bigger, so that it doesn't have to rotate so fast. Yeah, about about ten times bigger. About ten times bigger. Maybe that's maybe you could do a combination, make it a little bit bigger, so the, and have a little bit faster rotation. Mm, somewhere but, in the middle. Yeah, I don't think they're getting full gravity in this this thing. Like Which I mean, I'm okay with. Like, there's yeah. no reason why we needed to have we need to be Earth gravity in the thing, right? That's right. You just need some gravity so that, you know, liquids fall into their containers and you can sleep and all kinds of different things. You can walk kind of normally and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Does sleep get messed up in low G? I don't know. I think... I don't know. But I think that there's some acclimation. I mean, you can sleep. There's not... You're not sleeping on anything. Right? You just... It's a float. Right. It would be unusual. Probably take some time to get used to. Mm. Right. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, I remember back in the day, NASA was like, "Would people even be? Would people be able to sleep at all? Like, does the body need to have a gravitational direction?" But right. as far as I know, you just strap up against the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 